good afternoon. I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Thursday, the 12th of October. Kiwi Bank's been ordered to pay over $800,000 for misleading customers. The Financial Markets Authority has found the bank made false and or misleading representations in their terms and conditions. Thomas Rice has more. It stated customers would not pay transaction fees on their accounts if those customers also had a home loan with them. However, between September 2005 and March 2020, some 35,000 of Kiwi Bank's home loan customers did not have fee waivers applied to their accounts. It'll pay an $812,000 civil penalty. Big insurer Vero has been ordered to pay almost $4 million for failing to apply multi-policy discounts to customers. The Financial Markets Authority took Vero Insurance New Zealand to court. In June this year, Vero admitted it did not apply multi-policy discounts to some customers who were entitled to them. Gasps filled a Christchurch courtroom after the jury reached a guilty verdict of the murder of Michael McGrath. David Benbow has been convicted of the killing in 2017, but has always denied it. The murder charge was proven with no body, no murder weapon and no forensic evidence. The jury delivered its verdict to the High Court in Christchurch after deliberating for 18 hours over three days. Michael's brother Simon says to have a verdict six years after Michael's disappearance is welcome news but also bittersweet. It's hugely emotional. I've never felt anything like it. It's been one hell of a ride over the last six years and I'm just elated. Chris Luxon says National's been quietly meeting one-on-one with iwi leaders as the clock ticks down to Election Day. Luxon says he's largely supportive of investment across Māori development and it's now about delivery. But he's defending not having specific policies for Māori if the Nats are voted into power. We want to improve outcomes for Māori and for non-Māori. And when you talk to Māori, what are their number one issues? Cost of living, housing, education, healthcare, law and order. Same issues. Labour is regaining ground but has no reason to celebrate the last major polls before Election Day. Final polling by One News and News Hub indicate National Act and New Zealand First will have the numbers to form a government after Saturday's election. The Herald's final poll of polls shows Labour has no realistic path to power after ruling out working with Winston Peters. Political editor Jason Walls says while Labour and the Greens appear to be picking up more support, the current polling numbers are still disastrous for any incumbent government. But Labour are celebrating the fact they're up a little bit but still in the 20s. There's something really wrong with the party. To sport and Ireland, captain Johnny Sexton is wary ahead of Sunday's Rugby World Cup quarter final, saying the All Blacks have taken a leap forward since the teams met in New Zealand last year. Skipper Kane Williamson and pace bowler Tim Salvey have overcome major injuries to be available for tomorrow night's Cricket World Cup clash against Bangladesh. And a seat in next year's Indianapolis 500 awaits for IndyCar driver Marcus Armstrong after the Kiwi completed the rookie orientation programme required for first-timers. I'm Raylene Ramsey and that is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.